Now we're in the land of Gemini. And so, greetings, Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope. Um, this new moon is a new start for you, but it's an eclipse, and so crazy things could easily happen. Now, if any of you have a rising sign around 19, 20 degrees Gemini, um, even other mutable signs around 19, 20 degrees, Pisces, Virgo, um, Sagittarius, anything you got in that area, oh boy, yeah, for me, I guess that would be, yeah, well, Mercury's kind of close to Sag there, I don't know, but anyhow, um, <laughs> this is where the eclipse is going to be affecting stuff, and solar eclipses are way more powerful than lunar eclipses, I know we had the lunar eclipse, but that was lightweight compared to what's going to go down this week, I know, I'm bracing myself, hmm. But um, I think some good can come out of it, too. It's just, it's all about your t intention. See, one of the things about this new moon is like the ruling deity of Mergashira is Soma. And that's like the god of the nectar of the moon that gives us enlightenment. So if you just kind of hang into your meditation space, you know, and um, don't lose your head over something you're attracted to or someone you're attracted to and just like chill out. You know, this may not be the right thing to do right now. Even if it seems like it belongs to you and it's yours, yeah, you know, no. You um, you have to um, take pause here that this might not be appropriate or right, you know, and and know that. Um, you know, because Shiva's there. He's going to prevent the cosmic incest, you know. You're going to pay for your bad deeds, whoever you are, wherever you are. And then sometimes you pay for bad deeds that you didn't really even do, at least not in this life. But, you know, stuff happens to us, you know, all of us. And, um, you know, that's, that's it, you know. L love your people. Love your neighbors. Love your family this week. That's my message to, um, to you. Um, okay. Okay.